Yeah, this was a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> it was a five o'clock shadow a month and a half ago. <laughs> it's probably hard for you guys to see right now, but Jake, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I don't know. If... There you go. All right, I'll flip you guys around and give you the tour as we're walking up. Creepy area number one. That's a good sign. Pigeon feather. Oh. It's probably some sort of gang related symbol right there. Yeah, I doubt we'll run into them tonight, and if we do, they'll probably poop themselves. You take point. Oh, this is cool. Oops. I keep going up. You're seeing what I'm seeing, and so I'm just gonna shoot this one. And there's like 26 others around him. <laughs> okay, we just locked up here. Okay, so for these guys here, I think the most the smartest thing to do is I'm gonna shoot him one two, three, four, and hopefully that way none of them will get scared and I'll fly off, so there we go. One, two. Three, four. Oh, only one took off. Heard a bunch of pigeons flying. So I'm going to shoot him one, two, three, four, and hopefully that way none of them will get scared and I'll fly off. So here we go. One, two, three. Oh, only one took off. Okay, so all those guys are still there. So we still got a bunch of pigeons to shoot. And there's one right here. Let me just... This is locked up again. So we got this one little guy here. So, we can kill that Jake. For real. So here's my dilemma. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that leg, and three on this leg. I'm inclined to shoot these three, but I don't want all these to fly off. I think the fucking thing just froze up on me again. <laughs> Go ahead, you can say it. This the, the ATN X site. This is the giant hunk of shit. Every 30 seconds it's freezing up on me. I'm literally having to shoot and stop, and shoot and stop just to save footage. Right now what I was trying to say is there's about 12 pigeons on this side, three on this side. I want to shoot as many as I can before they fly off. I'm just trying to figure out what is the best order so I can shoot them without scaring the other ones. I was going to show you that through the AT&X site, but it had other ideas. Pulsar is a better bet, in my opinion. And I've called ATN too. As don't waste your time doing that. Turning it off again.
hoping it works. If you got them, buddy, take them. Here we go. Yeah. Jake. What? Did you hit one? Uh, yep. I don't know where this one came from. Oh, this is part of all of them. Did you leave any dead on the rail? No. Oh, no. okay. Yeah, those, anything you see there is a one you can shoot. There. Heard that one. This is number two. Are you recording? Oh, yeah. After this one just stopped recording. Get him. Oh, yeah. Oop. And it goes blank. Did it? Yeah. Like blank screen and everything. All right, let's reset it. I'll stop it here. That's probably the best shot yet. Yeah, uh, it looked good too. It, well, it sounded impactful. What I saw on that one was the stream of the pellet going through the air hitting him right in the head, taking his whole body and pushing it up against the building in between his wings. He looked like a oh. vulture for a second and then just, that's where it went black. Oh man, I hope it, I hope it took it, but I doubt it did. Here we go. This is number two. Are you recording? Oh yeah. Before I hit record, there's seven birds here. I'm gonna try and take them as fast as I can so that I, hopefully I can do it fast before the scope freezes up and kills it. So here we go, I'm loaded. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And I'm recording, here we go. Miss that one. Hit that one. Hit that one. Hit that one. Hit that one and they're gone. Shut your recording off. Oh, I did. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing I did. <laughs> Sucks that you have to do it that way, but what else? Right. Yeah. I think they're all gone. Let me just look around. I mean, that was a lot of racket for for them to be there. I've noticed for from you guys' comments the weird little things I say. Like uh, you say, "Oh, you sound like you're from Wisconsin." Then I listen to some Wisconsin YouTubers and I'm like, son of a gun, I do sound like I'm from Wisconsin. Then I get mad. I say fur instead of four. So that's one of these things I'm trying to correct myself with. Uh, and we're black. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Here we go. Missed that one. Hit that one. Hit that one. Hit that one and they're gone. The cool thing is to help find these birds at night, right? They're all in this little alcove right here. But when we go down there, we really are not right, quite sure where, where they are at. So I'm gonna take a glow stick. And that's where we're gonna search around. That area right there. So guys, we came up here, we followed our glow stick marker, and we were able to find one. And we found four on the ground, and I'm thinking, and we're both thinking, four on the ground. We, we killed way more than four. So then when we looked up, there is a little, like, great catwalk here. There's one, two, three, four more. There's a, a roof right there that I think a few of them have landed on. But we're going to go up here through that little door right there and 
see how many are actually there because if they did land there, they might have tumbled inside as well. We had a great time here hunting. I love the new O-lights. Check out how bright these things are here. I don't know. They're super bright. They have different levels of brightness as well. They also have this really cool ring where you can swing it around like that. <laughs> I will admit that is awesome. I love doing it too. Here, um, and it's like a little, yeah, so it's a defensive thing as well. You can hammer someone with this thing and it would most definitely hurt them. We have our other lights right now that I'll show you guys a comparison to. There are energizer lights we got from Home Depot. On the left is my light, my light I got from Home Depot. And it's just no comparison. We used them a lot in Florida when we were hunting pythons. We're out here python hunting, right? Jake's on the roof. I'm driving. I think I have the better position because if you think about it, we're out in the middle of the damn Everglades. Every bug for miles is going to be attracted to these lights. They're going to be swarming around him, biting him, landing on him, crapping on him. He's going to be hot, sweaty, and he's probably even going to get rained on. Meanwhile, I'm inside. No bugs are bothering me. Got the air blowing on me. I'm in here eating some chips. Having a grand old time. Python hunting is great. How you doing up there, buddy? Good. Good. Watch this. Oh, watch out for that pump. And what I really noticed about those, they really only lasted about two hours, two and a half, if you were lucky and sparing with them, but they got ungodly hot. It was almost too hot to hold in your hand. One of the best benefits of these lights, I think, in here is a lot of these floorboards buckle and turn over and then nails stick up out of them. So one of the things that these lights were great for is to avoid stepping on nails. And the other thing that we used them for earlier today was at the farm to avoid stepping in puddles or piles of cow shit. Funny thing is that can be the same thing. A puddle or a pile of cow shit can also be a puddle of cow shit. And without a light, you can't tell the difference between that and the ground. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed. This is my buddy Jake. You have a YouTube channel as well called... The New Manic Hunter. The New Manic Hunter. I'll link that as well. Thanks, guys. Bye. I think that's good, right? Yeah. So, we're, we're, we're going. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, hey, Jake, do you want any of this delicious mango? What's that? No, I can eat it all? All right, buddy, thanks. Oh, bump. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. Cold, it's all cold though. We had it in the fridge. Mm. You're not getting any of this though.
Now, I, I didn't want to say this earlier, but I'm going to say it now. That proves to me that there is no way mankind made it until 2010 without the explicit intervention and guarantee of extraterrestrials of our survival. There's no way. Because we are so dumb. Bust. 